hi guys and welcome back to another video so this is gonna be a Halloween design now this was the previous set that I did on her and this is a video that I have up of a fall collab that I did about four weeks ago it's been a while now so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove her previous design and then I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the nails for the refill <laughs> Once I'm done filing the previous design, I'm going to start finding the edges and getting the shape we want. We went with our regular coffin shape. Now I am coming in with my cuticle pusher and pushing back her cuticles. Okay, so once I'm done pushing down the cuticles, I am going to come in with this cuticle bit and I'm going to remove any of the dead skin that was left behind. Now at this point, my drill is at its lowest speed. I know that it looks very aggressive and hard, but it's not. It's just that the video is really sped up. So try to use your e-file at its lowest speed because you do not want to overfile the natural nail. Once I'm done prepping the nails, I'm going to come in with my Fantasy Nails pH and True Bond. Here I already put on the pH, so what I'm doing now is putting the True Bond on the nails, doing my first layer, and then I'll, once I'm done with the last finger, I'll come back to the first finger I started with, put a second layer of the True Bond, and then add the small layer of clear acrylic. Now I decided to skip the filing process, so we're jumping right into the design. Here I am putting the first layer of the gel polish. I'll put it in the light and cure it for 60 seconds. Then once it comes out, I'll do a second layer to give it more of a darker shade. Moving on to the middle finger, here I'm gonna do a swirl design, but it's gonna be more in a squared shape. I'm using my brush. I bought this one here at Michael's and it's just a triple zero regular little pencil brush. I'm using regular nail polish as well.
On this finger here, I'm going to be doing a little planet. We're not going to cure it just yet. We're going to jump over to the index finger and we're going to be doing a little alien. Then we will put the hand in the light and cure it for 60 seconds. Afterwards, I will finish the design. Once it's been cured in the light, I'm going to come in and finish the rest of the design. Now the first little ring that I did around the planet, I didn't like the way that it looked. So I took it off and then I did it again and it looked better so I left it like that. Now for my little alien here, at first I was having a hard time doing his little eyes because I kept on wanting to do them pointy and I felt like it was wrong. So until I looked at a picture and actually saw a picture of an alien, I had a better result and I liked the way that it looked. Now around this note here, I'm going to start putting loose glitter and make it look kind of like um, stars. And then also on the little alien, I will do the same thing. Now here on this hand, uh, it's completely different designs. It is not the same as the other hand at all. So here I'm gonna do a couple of little stars with gel polish, then she'll put it in the light and cure it. And I'll move on to the next finger. Now here she requested that I do a um, eye. So what I'm doing first is doing the white part of the eye. Once we cure it in the light, we will finish the rest of it. Now while she's curing the eye, I'm going to go ahead and do a half moon on her other thumb. And I'm also going to add loose glitter to make it look like the stars around the moon as well. Now to finish up the eye, I'm going to go ahead and add the eyelashes on top and on bottom. 
and then she will cure it in the LED light for 60 seconds. Now she wanted to add something crazy to the eye so I suggested maybe some teardrops coming out of the eye and she's like yeah but let's make them green so it looks like she's crying green goo and it actually looked really nice at the end Now finishing up the set, I'm using my metallic top coat from Wildflowers. And this is really it for the rest of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on another video that's coming really soon. Thank you. Bye.